See Sparks here in Bukasi. I'm at a hospital here in Bukasi. Uh, don't know the name of it. What's the name of the hospital, baby? They have it. Oh. And this is a private room we got here. In Indonesia, any place that you get, whether it be a private room, maybe even a hotel room in Indonesia, if it's not a chain or associated with anything, everything will work semi good. But there's always one or two things that don't work. There's the bathroom, there's the toilet, and the shower doesn't work in here, but that's Indonesia. And this is my brand new son here, little Elijah Blue. Hello. This is what it's all about, whether things work in here or not. And uh, hello. Hello. You look a little red now. <laughs> His face looks a little red. He just woke up a little hungry today. He is what two days old, honey? Yeah, two days, days old today, huh? Three days old today, and uh, so we're very happy. He's very active, even at a young age. Talks a little baby talk already. Uh, so, anyhow, just wanted to show the baby. Uh, this is the restroom, it's a little messy here. This is where my wife sleeps it's if you're in Indonesia if you if you have to get a room or your wife has a baby or whatever it's good to get a private room because the other rooms where you have to share pretty bad it can be pretty rough that happened to us the first time we had a child here man I don't even want to get into the story but it was pretty rough so ever since then I've always tried to save to get a private room they still aren't the really greatest rooms but at least you have privacy that's the main thing and this is the other bed here I can sleep it's all kind of messy in here because we've been laying around here. You get kind of bored here. This is the baby's bed. They, last night they let it stay in here for the first time, but they'll take it and wash it during the day. The baby sleeps there. And my wife, this is the bed she's in. She had a C-section. And uh, this is the bed I sleep in. And this is my computer. I just got done eating. There's a little uh, Lapo, a Batik restaurant near here. But anyhow, so this is where I sleep. It's my wife and the baby sleeps there and we've been here since Tuesday today's what Thursday honey and there's a place here where you put your clothes stuff like that so it's a little messy they'll come in here each day and clean now it does have a pretty nice refrigerator here this is pretty nice for Indonesia and there's a little sink there you can say the shower doesn't work but it does have hot water that comes out so we have to use the scoop method and you have a regular, at least kind of Western style toilet. And uh, here's some food, they bring food to my wife. I have, they do bring me breakfast. I can eat breakfast here, but the rest of the day I have to go out and buy, which isn't bad. There's a lot of food out there. You can buy street food. I'd rather eat that than the hospital food anyhow. And the only thing I don't like, you have to buy your own water here. I do think they should at least some places you go to give you at least one of these a day. But we have to buy the water. But there's an Endomart right next door. And I brought, uh, brought this here to heat up water and to make my coffee. And I brought some Torbika coffee. If I use this type of coffee, I like either Torbika with Susu or I like uh, Kapoapi with Susu. I also been drinking a lot of the other kind. It's cheaper. What's the name of that coffee I also get, honey? Do you remember the name? Oh, I forget the name, but it's a cheaper brand, but it's good. I'll tell you what's good too. You take this Torbika or you take Capo Api and you mix it in, get a bigger cup, mix it with a pack of, uh, <clears throat> of Luwak white coffee. It's good. And the baby's making a little noise. Oh, can't show it now because she's being fed. <laughs> so, Probably a good time to end the video. Oh, and there is a TV there, air conditioner there. So uh, I tell you, I don't think I've slept as much as I have here. You know, uh, we have a small business. We had to do a lot of work to try to get some orders out. We made some extra. We had a new account. Somebody ordered some. So, man, we had to work hard to try to get that out. My kids, two days before we got here, kept us up all night. Uh, Mariana for some reason kept crying fussing at night and then um, <clears throat> so we didn't have much sleep when we got here 
and my wife actually had two surgeries. She had one surgery where, you know, she had the C-section, had the baby, but she had a, another one where she got her tubes tied. So, making a long story short, she came out of that not looking good at all. And man, I stressed and we prayed and we cried. And uh, so that took a lot of energy to me. I worried about all that. And uh, cause I was kind of in here by myself. And uh, so uh, <clears throat> after all this stuff was over, I think I, we, I must've slept uh, that, I don't think I slept good that night, but all day yesterday, last night. And so I uh, had plenty of sleep, get kind of bored here. But it's also been a good time to rest and relax and spend time with my wife and uh, the new baby. My other kids are staying with their grandmother. But anyhow, God bless you all. I just thought I'd do a little shout out, let everybody know what we're doing and uh, how things are going. God bless you all. Bye.